Welcome back guys and today we will show you the 15 strongest and sharpest predators. Like and subscribe right now or the spider will crawl on your face in your sleep. Nature is really dangerous. Destruction happens everywhere, and one thing is guaranteed to happen every day. Predators will kill their prey. Some predators are pretty obvious, while others not so much. And this is exactly why this list is guaranteed to shock you. Polar Bears these fluffy inhabitants of the North Pole look too clumsy and fancy. Anyway, uh, no bees are there to treat them honey. But the pinnipeds, fish, and deers depend on location. Its hunting tactics are simple, but difficult for us to understand. This is hard to believe, but... In some studies, bears are quite savvy creatures for using improvised means. The Inuits claim to have witnessed such a sight many times. Bears are able to pelt their way with rocks and blocks of ice for safe hunting. For example, walrus with sharp fangs. That's the kind of thugs they are. White Shark Every time before swimming in the sea or ocean, I pray not to meet this uh, triangle. Many people think that the white shark is the most dangerous, however, this is not true. Bull sharks are the most prone to actually attacking human beings. Sharks are very bloodthirsty and have a very keen sense of smell. Even a small wound can attract them. The shark checks its prey by circling over it and usually attacks it if it's weaker. Sharks also hunt birds by jumping out of the water. They can jump up to 3 meters. Before we continue our list, here's a question for you guys. Who will win the battle between a lion and a hippo? The answer to this question will appear somewhere in the video, so keep watching to find out. Crocodiles. Noiseless, inconspicuous, swiftly becoming a threat. Approaching their prey silently, the crocodile grabs it with powerful jaws and takes it into the water, away from its prey's habitual environment. It shakes its head quickly and sharply in different directions, gripping its prey firmly with its jaws, thereby tearing the poor victim into smaller pieces for easy swallowing. But that's not all. Crocodiles are also capable of catching fish by tossing them up and picking them up with their jaws. Lions The animal king is not really so hardy in the hunt to chase his prey for long periods of time. The hunt is mainly conducted by lionesses. It is one of the numerous feline families that hunt in groups. The essence of the hunt is to drive the prey away from the flock, isolate it, and then attack. Divide and conquer in practice. Hyenas Funny fact, hyenas have smaller males than females, and the clan is led by the alpha female, not the male. They are the most unscrupulous animals. Their powerful teeth can crush strong bones and their stomachs can digest rotting meat. They hunt in groups with no chance for their prey to survive. If a hyena gropes its prey, it's the end for the victim. As their jaws are incredibly powerful, usually they try to grip their big sized prey from behind and then they eat everything down to the bone. Pythons Snakes are basically nimble animals. For example, a python will be stationary for a long time in the sight of its prey and will wait for the right moment to attack. The python is able to twist its body in rings to throw this death knot on its prey at an opportune moment. The power of the python is so great that it not only strangles but also breaks the bones and ribs of its victim by squeezing the rings. When the end has come for the unfortunate one, the python swallows it whole. Tarantulas. The worst nightmare is to meet these eight-eyed creatures. It may surprise you, but tarantulas do not use a web as a trap. They hunt in trees and on the ground. It is not difficult for them to notice the movement of their prey because they have excellent vision with a 360 degree panorama. Tarantulas are quite fast and capable of jumping as well. They sneak up on their prey stealthily, catching it in the act. 
They bite their prey with their chelicers, injecting poison or a substance that turns the victim's body into mush. Then the tarantula sucks up the meat, porridge style, and then throws it away. Wolves A close relative to our beloved pets, unfortunately, they cannot afford to lie on the couch or carpet and wait for blessings from heaven when the owner throws a handful of food. Wolves are flock animals and it's hard for them to survive on their own. Hunting in a group makes it easier. In a group, each of the wolves in pursuit of the prey tries to wound it to make the hunt easier and end these chases more quickly in their favor. The wolves work proactively, driving their prey until it's tired and exhausted and then you all know what's next. Tar Shears these plate-eyed creatures are the only predators among primates. They prefer to hunt at night and are mostly solitary. In the tree crowns, they listen to the movement of insects and bats. When a target is detected, they jump right on top of their prey and quickly grab it into their mouth. Piranhas There are legends about piranhas and many tell tales about how bloodthirsty they are. But fairy tales remain fairy tales. In fact, piranhas do not pose a particular threat to humans, but the fact is that piranhas are predators. These freshwater fish are given teeth for a reason. In the shade of algae, they wait for prey. The hunt is facilitated by wounded victims accidentally caught in the pond. Each of the individuals act completely separately, just as when eating prey in a whole flock of fish. Komodo Dragons and now let's go to the Komodo Island in Indonesia, where these dinosaurs live. They also live on the islands of Rincha, Flores, and Gili Motang. They have a unique sense of smell and can catch their prey on their tongue for several kilometers. They ambush their prey mainly at watering places. Either it attacks immediately and tears the tendons of its prey, immobilizing it, or it's ready to finish off the victim with its tail knocking it down. Sometimes they even attack humans. Hippos this chubby, juicy, cute carcass is not as harmless as it seems. Recently, scientists have concluded that the hippopotamus is difficult to think of as a mere herbivore and have been classified as a relative predator. Very unpredictable, aggressive, and violent, the hippopotamus is so strong that in an attack of two or three lions, it's capable of dragging them all down and tearing them to shreds. They have similar tactics to crocodiles, by and large, dragging the prey into an environment uncomfortable to them. And no, it doesn't just kill the abuser and leaves it, it actually devours it. The prey is a predator as well. I would call such predators suicidal, we are not the only ones who fall for anything innocuous, so do animals. Anatomy Helena It seems to be the kindest and most unprotected creature in the world, but these species of snails are willing to argue with that. Anatomy Helena is a gastropod mollusk from Southeast Asia. It swiftly stalks other snails or ambushes, attacks, and sucks its prey right out of its shell. Oh, it happens. Snails, cannibals. Conus geographus, or geography cone. Multicolored shells that look like candy but are not so sweet. The venom of the conus contains more than a hundred toxins. Slow, extremely voracious, and aggressive. Their habitat is mostly the tropical waters of the Pacific Ocean. They eat mollusks, small fish, and crustaceans. Conuses hunt with their spines. The teeth are modified into a harpoon, the cavity of which is connected to a poisonous gland. Geography cones' venom instantly paralyzes their prey. Just a few milliliters of these species' venom is fatal to humans. They slowly sneak up on their prey and attack with a harpoon. But not all cone species are dangerous. This is the most dangerous one. Bees Bees are not thought as predators, of course, but they can be just as aggressive. The killer bee is a hybrid of the African bee and the European bee. In 1957, an experiment was done in Brazil to crossbreed two species of bees. The experimenters had forgotten that African bees were more aggressive than European ones and that the venom was more toxic. The unfortunate thing happened and a few bees broke free and multiplied. The hybrid is capable of attacking humans and relentlessly stalking its prey. 
And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any awesome videos just like this. Thank you for all your support, and see you soon.